Hello my dear friends, welcome back to CSER at home. In this video we can discuss about syllabus, okay? What we need to study for the coming Kerala PSC Junior Scientific Assistant. Okay, we need to study biotechnology, microbiology, environmental science, then a little bit of biochemistry and chemistry. Here we can discuss what will be the syllabus for biotechnology, microbiology, environmental science and biochemistry. Biotechnology, you need to study about chromosomes, operons, then ribosomes, replication, transcription, translation, genetic code, etc. Study the basics. Just study a degree level book. Okay, Don't study deep. Just study from a, any degree level book. Then techniques, molecular biology techniques, that's also very important like how to isolate DNA, RNA, plasmid, then different type of PCR, then southern, northern and western blotting, then the DNA markets that is RFLP, RAPD, AFLP, etc. Then restriction enzymes, vectors, gene cloning, chromosome working, sequencing, etc. Okay. Then environmental biotechnology, that's also very important, sewage treatment, solid waste management, etc bioremediation etc then microbiology what we need to study structure okay prokaryotic cell structure then important groups of prokaryotes that is bacteria virus bacteriophage etc then structure and classification of virus then sterilization and disinfection okay that is very important which one sterilization and disinfection okay then different type of media that is culture media and culture methods then how to identify bacteria then antibiotics that is also very important it's a pollutant that mechanism of action of different type of antibiotics then antibiotic resistance then the role of microorganisms in pollution then microbiology of sewage and industrial effluents waterborne disease biodegrading microbes then the techniques associated with microbiology gram staining then microscopy, it includes light microscope, dark field microscope, face contrast microscope, etc. Okay, study all those things. Then biochemistry, you need to study basics of carbohydrate, lipids, amino acid, proteins, enzymes, nucleic acid and vitamins. Just study the basics. Then techniques including chromatography. Paper chromatography, thin layer chromatography, ion exchange chromatography, then gel permeation, affinity chromatography, gas chromatography, GC, then HPLC, etc. Chromatographic techniques. Then colorimetry, spectrophotometry, spectroscopy, etc. Okay. Then X-ray diffraction crystallography flame emission spectroscopy atomic absorption spectroscopy then nmr okay esr spectroscopy all the techniques okay then centrifugation basic principles of sedimentation types of centrifuges then dosimetry ionization chamber gm counter solid and liquid scintillation counters etc then environmental science here i provided a detailed syllabus okay analyze the syllabus and study from your point of view okay atmospheric pollution they are natural and anthropogenic sources of pollution then primary and secondary pollutants then gaseous inorganic air pollutants okay gaseous inorganic air pollutants their sources and chemical reactions of those pollutants then organic air pollutants sources and reactions of different types of organic air pollutants then effect of pollutants on human beings plants animals materials and climate then acid rain ambient air quality standards noise pollution human health greenhouse effect this is very important and global warming then ozone layer depletion etc then impairment of hydrosphere nature and type of water pollutants point and non-point sources that's important then heavy metals heavy metal contamination in water sources different sources okay then algal nutrients, eutrophication, acidity, alkalinity, salinity, etc. Then oxygen demanding materials, then concept of BOD, COD, that's also very important. Then pesticides, organic pollutants, important, okay. Then impairment of geosphere, NPK in soil, synthetic fertilizers, 
pesticides important okay then heavy metals waste heavy metals and waste are soil pollutants then effect of mining and mineral extraction effect of waste disposal waste disposal and geosphere then water quality standards basic unit process and operations for wa water treatment then drinking water standards water requirement then surface water treatment distribution of water then groundwater quality okay then waste water sewage and sewage treatment quantity and characteristics of waste water then primary secondary and tertiary treatment of waste water sludge disposal etc then water pollution water waste water and industrial waste water analysis then municipal solid biomedical e waste plastic waste and hazardous solid waste okay then air pollution control strategies green technologies etc then environmental impact assessment that's also important definition purpose and characteristics of eia then different national environmental policy and regulatory framework okay rule and regulations of central and state government pollution control boards of environmental protection also study the international and national conservation agencies then environmental laws then instrumentation in environmental chemistry that is tritometry gravimetry colorimetry spectrophotometry fluorometry etc okay then environmental chemical analysis analysis of air air sampling techniques analytical methods of monitoring so2 nox co h2s and suspended particular matter okay then bod here also do dissolved oxygen uh, ph redox potential etc then analysis of soil okay sampling storage pre treatment extraction of organic containment etc and this is not the uh, exact syllabus for the examination this is just what you need to study so study the basics get an idea about this subject when the syllabus comes it will be easy to study within one or two months thank you